I mean, it's cold, so got to honor cold. Yeah. When they got some Kobe's to play for for the first game back, it's going to be a special night for sure. Yeah, tomorrow. What you going to put? RIP Kobe, RIP Gigi. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be like 20 or 30 family members here, friends, my mom, hopefully my dad, my sisters. Hero. Yeah, this is my dog. His name's Hero. He was named after the movie Big Hero 6. We're best friends. We talk to each other every day. We FaceTime each other every day. I tell him everything. He gets on my nerves every day. Victoria! <laughs> But, I mean, honestly, he's like my favorite person. He's definitely the glue in our family. He, even Kendra, like, he makes it adamant that, you know, Kendra is always involved because it's, you know, hard to sometimes communicate because she is hearing impaired. Nobody in our family signs, but, you know, he took a sign language class in college at IU and learned sign language to communicate with her better. So, like, their relationship, it's special in itself. And our sister Christine, you know, just always reaching out and making sure that everybody in the family's good. They've been along with me on the ride, and they were affected by me playing, and they were affected with me not playing. And I didn't realize that until I wasn't playing. So I think this is definitely something that he had to struggle with mentally and something that he had to overcome. Just seeing him come back, you know, stronger and improve his shot. I mean, to me, I mean, I, I couldn't be happier for him. And I know this means a lot, not just to him, but to everyone who witnessed, you know, him falling and tearing his uh, quad tendon to coming back now. And, you know, it's just definitely going to be a special moment for everyone. It's going to be a day I always remember, obviously. But it's just another game. What's up, fam? You already know what time it is. Bing, baby. You better fit me and Rachel. Oh, my goodness. Yo, this is crazy. That joint fire. Ask her what size it is. I see you picking up. You know this one? It's definitely gonna fit on that. It's fly that. See that? Say like Mamba mentality on it. King Mamba. Crazy. This is all. Everybody paying their dues, you know I'm gonna pay mine for sure. To the legend, to the GOAT. There's no question about it. This one's for Cole, for sure. First short. Father God, we thank you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the Savior of the world. We come to thank you, Father God, for the blessings that you have bestowed upon us through your son, Victor. Father, as we gather here today, let our joy be full in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is you who have brought him this path. It is you, O God, who will continue to guide his path. It is you, O God, who will crown all of his endeavors with success. From here on out, Father God, we claim victory over all injuries. Amen. From here on out, Father God, we soak him in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Injury shall not be his portion forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. All obstacles in his life, all opposition in his life, Father, we come against in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless him, God. Bless him, God. Bless him, God. Father, we give you all the thanks and praise. It's going to be a very emotional night. Um, a very special night. I mean, I know I'm going to be nervous, <laughs> um, be anxious for sure. Um, but I've imagined it as a, a very fun night with a lot of smiles. 
almost like a weight is lifted off my back just because I get to play the game I love again. Whoa! I haven't driven this car at all since I bought it and I've been saving it for this day. You know, my first game back just because, you know, it's a special day. I want to make it memorable. I just don't want to buy the car and not, you know, have special moments with it. So it's a great day. Obviously, I get to return back to the court and I get to whip this bad boy out too. So it's pretty dope. I'm feeling good. You know, I've uh, just been, uh, obviously, emotions are a little bit everywhere, uh, a little bit under the weather. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just going to go out there and have fun. Like, I'm just excited, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to going out there and just playing a game I love. And, you know, no matter what happens, it's going to be a good day. Victor Oladipo finally making his return after more than a year out with an injury. And every fan has a special sign on their suit saying, ready for action. They are pumped, they are ready to go. Victor Oladipo says he's learned so much after being off the floor for a long time. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. It does, in my mind, bring a positive light to this week where a lot of guys need something positive. Vic it will be a jolt of energy like he always is, but he also will be a, a guy that comes in and helps this somber note and lift the clouds a little bit here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. What's up, Vic? I haven't said anything to him today about how to come back. You know, for him, um, you know, I know he's have a little nervous energy, and uh, we don't want to put a lot of pressure on him. Victor doesn't get to go through a training camp. He hasn't played with Malcolm. You know, he hasn't played with uh, with Warren, Lamb, um, T.J. McConnell, those guys. This is going to be new for him. But we want to slowly work him back into shape, condition, and uh, you know, rhythm and a role, you know, with this team. Until this point, most of the media has been centered on and Colts and NFL, rightfully so. And, and Vic coming back is huge for this community. It's huge for basketball fans, starting with his tie with Indiana University. That's where this fan base really fell in love with him. And then the fact that he committed himself to this franchise when they were in a sour point. When a player wanted out, they wanted somebody to hug. And Vic came right in and wanted to be that guy. And so now to see him out here, I can't tell you how many fans and other media members nationally have been texting, reaching out, having interest in this Pacers team purely because of Victor coming back tonight. Definitely excited. It's the biggest comeback yet. He's getting ready to turn up. Waited all year. We worked so hard. We waited all year for this. out there that's, that's just because the week has just been emotional it's been a, a roller coaster and at the end of the day you know I attacked that roller coaster I um, mean I'm gonna continue to attack it I looked over there to see if the play was forming it didn't form I went into VO mode after that it was simple as that mumble mentality I just shot it with confidence and it went in it's a great shot but tomorrow means absolutely nothing so uh, I'm gonna embrace every moment. 